Hello everybody. Uh, as most of you th know that watch me here on YouTube, if you're watching this video on YouTube, because it's also going to be on my webpage here after I get done uploading it, I am Jim Dandy from Jim Dandy Forex and from LearnMQL4.com where you learn how to program your own scripts, custom indicators, and expert advisors. And what I'm making this video for is to show you how to use my trade management tool that I have coded myself and that is in the MQL5 market that you can download into your platform which I'll show you how to do in just a minute to show you how you can use the uh, tool that I've made for free you can download the demo for free and test with it in your strategy tester almost like a video game but while doing so you can hone your trading skills to see how well you are able to read a chart you are able to read the previous support and resistance levels to the left of where the price is right now and decide where you would want to get in and then get in using this trade management tool and see how well you do. So without further ado, uh, let's get into uh, how to use this trade management tool. But first of all, I guess I should show you how to get it into your platform. So let's do that first. Okay, so what we're looking at here is a Talonex demo account. Uh, we're looking at a one hour Euro USD chart. I darkened it down so it's not so bright on my glasses here in this video. But the way you would uh, get the, of course this demo account already has the uh, trade management tool in it, but the way you, the first thing you have to do is go into your tools menu up here in your options and go to your community and set you up a username and password with the MQL5 community if you don't already have one. You have to have a user, it's free, you have to have one before you can download something out of the MQL4 market. Once you have done that, then you can open up your terminal. Or you can push Control T or you can click on the little button up here. Push the terminal and go to the market. And you'll see all of these things in the market here. And to make it easy, just go over here on the right and type in Jim Dandy. Like so. And you'll see the uh, three things that I have in the market right now uh, show up here. And the first one here is the... Jim Dandy trade management tool, the one with my picture on it. And if you click on that, it'll take you over here. And of course, this one says something different now, but yours will probably say download or load or whatever to where you can download the demo version of it. So remember to do this while you are logged into your MQL5 community. You may want to uh, uh, close the terminal and open it back up again and then do this after you've set up your username and password. But anyway, uh, when you hit that download button to download the demo, into your platform it just takes a few seconds and then it will show up in your navigator panel here under expert advisors you will have a folder called market and in that market you will see the Jim Dandy trade management tool and let me close this back down again and if you click on the Jim Dandy trade management tool it will let you know that all you can do is demo it you can't actually put it on the chart and press the buttons and things but we can have a lot of fun just in the uh, demo version of it in the strategy testers you're about to find out. So you can hit the test button but before I get away from this let me point out to you here the instructions on this little page right here because you don't see these again once you have this loaded in strategy tester. You don't see this about tab. But notice it says that click on the copyright link above to go to the instruction page. That's right if you click on this link right here it will take you to this page where I'm about to put as soon as I finish this video, I'm going to put this video on this page as well. But anyway, that's an easy thing to miss if you don't know to look for it right here. So anyway, let's go ahead. It's click on test and the strategy tester will open up. And we don't really need this on the chart anymore. So we go here and we look, we can see our Jim Danny ma trade management tool is now loaded up. Looks like we're on a one hour chart. Um, uh, it must be the last settings I used are from October the 1st to November the 1st of 2014. So we're using every tick and so on and so forth. You can go in here, you can set up the account size that you want to use. Uh, $10,000 is what this is set on. Uh, and here are all the inputs and so on and so forth. Now, when you do this, make sure that this auto trading button up here is set to true. That's important even in the strategy tester, it's important that auto trading is set to true. All right, now, now that we've got it loaded in, we're, we're in the strategy tester, now let me move on to the part where I show you how to set it up so that it will trade in strategy tester for you.
Okay, before I do anything, one of the things I do want to do is save this gray chart so that I don't have to stare at this while I'm talking to you guys without all my glasses. So I want this, when I strategy test, I want to use this chart with nothing on it except just the green and red candles and the gray background. So I'm just going to save this under the template of tester, the name of tester. And uh, it's going to tell me I already have one. I know that. So now whenever I do a strategy test, this is the chart that's going to come up. So now as far as how to make it trade in the strategy tester. Now, first of all, let me uh, reiterate that the reason I named this the Jim Dandy Trade Management Tool instead of the, you know, super splendiferous uh, trade decision making, make a million bucks in four weeks expert advisor. This was created with the idea of mixing the brain of a human with the discipline and lack of emotion of a trading robot. And what I mean by that is I really intend for you to use this as a tool to manage your trades after you decide where and when you want to get in. Once you get in a trade, you turn it over to the trade management tool and without greed or fear involved, it will follow your plan. You don't sit there and talk yourself out of a good trade. You don't sit there and talk yourself into taking profit earlier than you should have, moving your stop when you shouldn't. That was the whole concept behind creating this tool. It's an extension of you. Just like you use a hammer to drive a nail because you can't do it with your fist. You have to have the tool to get the job done. But having said that, I had to have a way for this thing to be used in Strategy Tester in somewhat of an automated uh, way that it takes a trade instead of you taking a trade for it to manage. So if you go into the settings down here, I realize that was a long explanation, but I wanted you to know that. All, down below all of these uh, lot size settings here, you will see the strategy tester settings. Now, I auto time trading is set to true right now because I've been playing with this. Normally this would be set to false. If you leave this on false and you just put this on a strategy tester and drop it on a chart, it will never take a trade. Because what this does is when you set this to true, and I have it set to the trading hour of 8. Now that is the trading hour on my server's broker, which my server happens to be TalonX's demo account is on GMT time. So this is 8 a.m. Uh, you know, London time or whatever. So what this is going to do is it's going to fire off a trade every morning at 8 a.m. in London. And which direction is it going to get in? It is going to get in to whatever I have it set to do right here. You see right now I have it set to sell every morning at 8 a.m. every day that it's not already in a trade from the previous day it is going to sell. And you can see I have the stop loss and the take profit set up here to 20 and 40. But what I do need to uh, change this. I have, I'll tell you what, let me just hit the reset button and set everything back to default. Alright, now it's going to buy. It's using a 40 and 80. Let's change this to a 20 and a 40. Like so. Eh, and we'll just leave it set to, we'll just let it set to default, leave everything to default, and we're going to go in here, I'll go down here, I'll change this, set to true, and it's going to get in at 8 a.m. every morning. So let me throw it in gear, so to speak, and uh, the way I control it is I click on the slider here, and then I use the left and right arrows on my keyboard. And you can see it is set to sell. So every day it is going to sell. I mean, excuse me, buy. That's why the chart is green because it bought. You can see it, it almost got us out there with 40 and 80. Didn't quite make that 80 pips. So now it is out, but it is past the eighth hour of the next day. So it's not going to get in a trade on this day. This day it gets in and buy again. It gets stopped out and it reverses. And as it came down, it reversed and it took profit. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there was a trade that happened right in here. It bought, it got stopped out, it stopped and reversed and it went down for 80 pips. So now here it is. It is now a new Monday of a new week. It's in a buy and it took profit. Tuesday started out with a buy, sell, buy. Now of course you can set 
uh, 20, 40, stop loss and take profit, however you want to set it. But with this setting right here, with all you do is just tell it to uh, place a trade every day at one time, you can actually just run it through the strategy tester and uh, see what it would do. Now the interesting thing, I'll speed this up right here, but the interesting thing is that I'm going to show you what happens if instead of selling every day at this time, we buy every day at this time. So let me just let this run here and I'll speed it up. Okay, see there, it closed it out. Let's see what it actually did. I can see it closed uh, with a trade still open. But you can see it said it made $56.62, which is not much on a $10,000 account. Actually, with this account size, we should be trading a mini lot instead of a micro lot to start with. So it would normally be $560. But that's what we got when we, and let's see what the drawdown was. The maximal drawdown was 0.96% for the entire month of October. Of course, this is strategy testing. This isn't real world forward testing on a, on a demo server, but it'll give you a pretty good idea. Now, I'm going to run the same test, only on this time, instead of uh, buying every time, I'm going to have it sell every morning at eight o'clock in the morning. So let me run that. Remember, this one was $56. So let's run it the other way and see what happens. Okay, so there we're at the end of October. Once again, let's see what it did this time. And this time it made $99. So it would have been a $990 had it been a, uh, a trade mini lots instead of micro lots. And uh, you can see it drew down 0.45%. It's pretty incredible. Now I can tell you right now that making almost 10% a month is too much. That's just insane. You can't do it, according to the experts. Now, the third way I want to show you that you can use this, obviously it takes no skill to trade this way. This isn't going to teach you any skill, but I'm just showing you how the different things you can play with. Of course, we can set a closer stop loss and take profit. You can set different lot sizes. You can set uh, different martingale amounts here as it keeps uh, seesawing back and forth with you. But the feature that I want you to see right now is this one here, override manual and use indicator bias on what this does and I usually just use a moving average bias you see we have several choices here it may cross it may bias and down here below all of the settings down here below the strategy tester settings we have these different settings for MA cross bias moving average bias stochastic bias MACD bias well the one I just selected was the moving average bias and, it, it, and I have it set up to use a five uh, moving average, simple moving average applied to the close. And what this is going to do is at eight o'clock now, every morning, instead of just entering a buy or entering a sell, because that's what I have it set to, I have chosen up here at the top to override that setting with MA bias. See, you can have it set to no, I don't want it to override it. If I got it set to sell, you sell. But I'm going to use that MA bias and what that means is at 8 o'clock in the morning if the price is above a 5 moving average it's going to buy if the price is below a 5 moving average it's going to sell so it puts a little bit of logic into the mix now there's also stochastic and MACD settings that you can set up down below there and depending on which way the MACDs or the stochastics are, are, are crossed at 8 o'clock in the morning that's the direction it will get in Again, these are things that I just added mainly so that you could play with it in Strategy Tester. But there's a lot more to it than this. So anyway, let's, let's run it through one time with this setting to where it's not entering the same direction every day, but is choosing each morning at 8 o'clock which direction it wants to get in. Okay, so here's a fresh day. It got in a buy that day. Turned out to be a good idea. Got in a buy again this day to start with. We're in a little whipsaw here. 
and we're out of that one. This day we got into a buy again. I'm waiting on it when it starts the downtrend here. There, you see it started that day out in a sell because the price was below the five moving average. And you see the five moving average does not have to be on the chart. But I think you see how this works. I'll let this run on and uh, fast forward it so you can see how it takes different uh, direction trades based on that five moving average. Of course, you can change them to a 21 moving average if you would like to. But this will give you an idea of, of what that setting does. Okay, so there we are once again to uh, the beginning of October, the end of October. And you can see from the lines that left behind what it was doing here. Started off with buys and sells and different things. Let's see what it did. And a little bit of intelligence apparently helped at it. So most we've made so far, $107.98, which would have been um, $1,079 had we set it to a mini lot instead of a micro lot. We drew down 0.44%. So you can see um, with this setting, if you did have a $10,000 account and you were just using nothing more than this, it would make about 1% a month according to the strategy tester. Now, of course, this doesn't involve any skill. You just set up um, the EA to run and it takes the trades for you. But that's not what I'm wanting you to learn. What I'm wanting you to learn is how to trade, how to read a chart and make your best guess about where to get in a, a market. So that's what I'm going to show you in the next video. We're not going to use this automatic uh, feature at all. We're going to decide when and where we get in the trade in the next video. This is where it's more like a game that you get to interact with. So let's stay tuned for that. All right, so like any game that we play, we've got to have a game controller, don't we? We've got to have some way of uh, manipulating the game. We've got to have a joystick. We've got to have a, a controller, something. So let me show you how you get the controller for this game. So well, here we are. We're back. Let me shut down the strategy tester. Let's start over again. Let's go back over here like we're dropping it on the chart again. And we're going to click on this link and we're going to go to my web page with the instructions on it. And what I want you to do is I want you to scroll down the web page here and you'll eventually come to a spot where it talks about use lines to place trades. And you can see in the instructions, it, it says you can go to this page to download a couple of drag and drop scripts. So let's go, let's click on this page and here we are. And on this page, there are four scripts. And what you want to do is click on these scripts and then you want to download them uh, onto your desktop or wherever you uh, can remember where you put them. And then the easiest thing to do is after you have downloaded them, let's say, uh, I put this one on my desktop. I'm going to do it right now because I already have them, obviously. Let's go back over into the into the uh, platform. Let's cancel that for the moment. So let's say you have dropped all four scripts on your desktop where you can easily drag them and drop them into your program. So what you want to do is you want to go over here to File, Open Data Folder. Go into your data folder of this particular platform. And uh, mine came up over here on the other screen. Let me bring it over here do that again file open data folder here we go we want to go into the MQL folder that comes up and then we want to go into the scripts folder that comes up right here and you can see mine are already in here but you want to drop drag and drop those scripts you know arrange your window so that you can see your desktop and this window at the same time and copy and paste those scripts into this um, folder here and you can close it down Another thing you can do is once you have done that, you can go into your scripts folder right here and you can right click and click on refresh and those scripts should compile and then be usable. Okay, so another thing you can do is you can right click on anything and you can say add it to the favorites and when you add it to the favorites, it jumps over here and you can see I've got buying script in here. Let me take it out. That's what I just clicked on. But once you do that, you can move all four of them over here 
into your favorites. Delete from favorites. Now I'm just deleting, I'm not deleting from my computer here. I'm just deleting them from this favorites. You may have not have noticed that there are two tabs here on your navigator. But put all four scripts over here where they're easy to get to because this is going to be our game controller. These four scripts are going to let us drop lines on the chart and make it take a trade where we want it to take a trade. So that's what you need to do. Get all four scripts loaded up. If they don't compile, if you can't get them to work, uh, close your platform and reopen it and they will compile when you reopen your platform. But that's the first thing you need to do is get these four scripts loaded and then go back and uh, drop the expert advisor back on the chart again. Go to the strategy tester and put this on favorites. And now we're ready to play the game of Forex. Had to get a little coffee here. Wet my whistle. Getting harder to speak without getting hoarse. Now, if, if nothing else, one of the things that this game will teach you is when you need to use a stop order and when you need to use a limit order. I remember this was one of the most confusing things when I first started learning Forex and how to place trades was when do I use a stop order, when do I use a limit order? If I, if I want to buy, do I want to use a buy stop or do I want to use a buy limit? Well, let me uh, let you think about this. You use a limit order when you think that the market is going to turn at a certain point. In other words, if you think uh, the market is going to go way up here to this peak over here, and when it gets way up there, you want to go short. You want to go sell. You don't think it's going to keep on going. You think it's going to turn here. You place a limit order for that. If, it, if you think it's going to go down below you down here and take out these stops and then turn around and come back, you want to buy down there, but you want to use a buy limit order. So limit orders are for where you think it is going to turn. Now, if it's in a channel here and you think that when it busts out the bottom of that channel, it's going to keep on going down and you want to sell down below where the price is right now, you use a stop. You use a stop order when you think the market is going to keep on going in the same direction that it was going when it hit your stop. Same way above. If you want it to uh, buy when it gets up to the top of this channel, because you think it's going to race on up here to the top, you want it to buy, but you want to use a buy stop, not a buy limit. So if you think it's going to turn at a place, use a limit order. If you think it's going to run on through a certain price level, you use a stop order. A limit order is basically saying, okay, I want to sell, but I want to sell at this price way up here. There's a limit to what price I want. I want to get at least $4 for my gallon of gasoline. Until it gets up to $4, I'm not going to sell. Or I want to buy gasoline for a dollar a gallon. I'm not going to buy it until it gets down to that price level. That's my limit. That's as most as I'll pay. Or the seller says, that's my limit. That's the least I'll take. That's a limit order. So keep those in mind because you'll find yourself dropping lines on the chart here in a minute and get you in the trade immediately when you didn't mean to get into trade. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. First of all, what these four scripts do is drop a line on the chart named buy stop line, sell stop line, sell limit, buy limit. Now in order for any of these lines to work, and this is the default setting, let me go in here and show you. In order for any of these lines to work, down here, just like we saw on that page a while ago where we downloaded um, the scripts from, and I went way past it, there is one called Use Lines to Place Trades. So let's set this on True. The default setting is, no, we're not going to use lines to trade, but we're going to set it on True. So if we reset this, reset, it's not going to use lines, we're going to set it on True. Now we're back up to our 40 and 80 deal again because we reset everything and due to the fact that we reset everything now this down here is set back to false it's not going to automatically place a trade at two o'clock in the morning or at eight o'clock in the morning or whatever we have this set to and by the way although this says strategy tester settings on it if you use this on an actual demo account or an actual live account and you leave that turned on to take a trade at eight o'clock in the morning GMT every day it will do it it will do it on a live account 
as well as in the strategy tester. So don't forget to leave this set to the default setting of false if you're not intending to get in every morning at eight o'clock in the morning. But the point I wanted you to, to, to realize is that these lines will not work. Your game controller is disconnected if you don't have use lines to place trades set to true. And we've got a 40 and 80 a stop loss and take profit here. So let's say okay. Now let me show you how to use the lines. Now first of all let me start the EA. We're still trading in the month of October. Now let me pause it or at least let me slow it down a notch so that it's barely wiggling down there. Because when it's in this idle mode here where it's just doing that little flutter deal there you can see the lines instantly. So now let's say I wanted to, uh, if I think it's going to rise up to this level right here and then come back down, what kind of an order would I place? If I want to get in right here and go short, what kind of an order would I place? Remember, if you think it's going to turn around, you use a limit order. And we want to short it, so we want to use a sell limit order. So if I was to take and drop, and wherever I let go of this mouse, it's going to put a line on the chart right there. And you can see that line, if I mouse over it, it's called the sell limit line. If the price goes up and touches that line, it is going to go short. Now also, what if it, uh, what if it doesn't make it up there? What if we say, well, if it goes down here below this, it's gonna keep on going down. Remember, if we think the market is going to keep on going in the same direction, we want to use a stop order. Now, we, while we still want to sell down here, we now you want to use a sell, sell stop line. So we'll drop that down here below us. Now, whichever one of these it hits, it is going to go short. So let me speed it up here for just a second. And once it gets in the trade, the trade management tool takes over. If it gets stopped out, it will reverse and it will trade until uh, it takes profit. Now, the way it is set up um, by default is that as soon as it hits one of these red lines, it will delete the other red line, the one cancel the other approach. You can turn that functionality off. I'll show you that setting here in a minute, but let me just push this button a little bit. There, we hit that line and now we are short. You can see the stop loss and the take profit. You can also notice that the other line is gone. So, was this a good plan or not? Let's see. Oh, look. Of course, we have it set. Look at there, that one worked for us. And uh, now, you notice it did not hit the other line that we had below it because that line was gone. So let's start over again and I'll show you how to turn that off. Let's stop it. Let me go in here and right here where it says I keep scrolling past it. Right here where it says use lines to place trades, it says delete other lines when one is hit and it's always set to true. In other words, it's always set to delete that second line. Now, that way it doesn't end up hitting a line and going hitting another line and being in two trades at once and confusing it all out of its mind. Now, as long as you put the lines far, and if you have a, a 80 pip take profit and a 40 pip stop loss, and you put two lines on the chart 100 pips apart, you know, by the time it gets to the other line, it is going to be out of the first trade. So you can leave this set to not cancel the other line. But let's do the exact, let's start it over again. All right, so let's do the same thing again. Let's put a sell stop line down here. Remember, don't put it up here. If you put it up here, it'll instantly enter a sell. This is a sell stop line. Let's drop it down here below the bottom. Let's put our sell limit line up here, up in that area somewhere, and let's throw it in gear. And notice now, oh, is it going to hit our bottom one first? No, it didn't. There, so we're short from there, and you see the line below is still there, but you see by the time it gets to it, it will already have taken profit right here. And then we're in it again. We're stuck in a trade. We didn't quite get our 80 pips. We're long. Oh no, it's going up and down. What's going to happen? Probably one of the, the things that I need to do first is change it from a 40, 80 to like a 30, 60 stop loss and take profit. So anyway, we'll slow it back down in gear. So <clears throat> that's one way to use it. Now, and the reasons we're having to do it this way instead of just use these buttons over here is because these buttons don't work in Strategy Tester. If you have this uh, 
if you pay the rental fee and rent it for $25 a month and you drop this on an actual demo account, you can buy and sell using the buttons on the chart, but you can't use those buttons in the strategy tester. MetaQuotes hasn't figured out how to make that work yet. So now, let's make a guess here. Let's say we are believing that if it goes up to this peak again, it is going to keep going. If it's, it's going to go up here and it's going to hit the stops and it's going to keep going. So if we think it's going to keep going, which kind of a line do we want to put on the chart? Which kind of order do we want? We know we want to buy up there, which is counterintuitive because we're buying at the top, which totally breaks the rule of buy low and sell high. We're buying high. But let's say just for the um, practice of learning which order we need to place, which order would you place up there at the top? We want to place a buy stop order because we think it's going to keep going up. So let's put a buy stop line up here at the top, like so. Now, if if we were to drop that line below the current price, it will think it has already run through the stop and we'll be in an order just like that. But let's see here. So that's a buy stop line up there. And let's say we think if it goes down to, oh, I don't know, this level right in here, it's going to turn around. I don't know why we think this, but let's say we put a limit order because we think it's going to turn around. We're going to buy down here though, so we want to put a buy limit order down here. So let's just use our fingers here. And what this will do, it will teach you how to use your orders for one thing. Now we're in the buy. We're gonna get stopped out. Oh, really makes me wish. I had it set to less than an 80 take profit. Now you see the other order is still up there. If it goes up there, it is going to hit that buy stop order. Let's see if it does it. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. So what you can do here in effect is you can see, now this is just one month I have loaded up here right now. But one of the things that um, a lot of people don't realize about trading and learning to trade is that trading is a skill. It's not just some talent that you have because you're the oracle of trading and you were born with this silver spoon in your mouth that enables you to spot trades. Good traders practice. They learn to look at, they spend hours and hours pouring over charts, looking at the charts, looking at the, uh, for patterns and different things. And what this will enable you to do, placing, uh, playing this game, is to look at that chart to the left there and decide where there is a level where you think if it busts out that level, it's going to keep going, or if it hits that level, it's going to turn. Now, with the tool set the way that I'm using it right now, even if we're wrong, it'll eventually get us out. And that's the beauty of this tool, is that it takes a lot of the load off of you as a trader as having to be right every time, because it will fix your goof ups. The problem is, is when you, when you just happen to get in, in an area where it just does this and keeps increasing the lot size until you run out of account. But there are several ways we can do this. We can look for different patterns. You see we have kind of an M thing going on here. And you can stop, you can pause the EA, you can pull Fibonacci levels on it like this. You can pull from here up to here. And you can say when it gets down to this 61.8, well you see it's already been there, so we can't use that one. So let's do it the other direction. Let's pull a Fibonacci this direction on this move here. And we're gonna, down here at the uh, when it gets 27% past this point, we're going to buy down here. We think it's going to come down here and turn. So we, we think it's going to turn around. So we want to use a limit order and we want to buy. So we're going to drop the buy limit line right there. Now, like I said, you see, I don't have it sitting there twiddling right now. So you can't tell that I've done anything. But when I put it back in gear, the line shows up. So essentially what we've done is, is we have it we're thinking that it's going to turn around down here. Now, if it goes up, what do we think it's going to do? Do we think it's going to go up and turn around somewhere? Is it going to get between these two levels here and turn? Or do we think it's it, if it busts out right here, it's going to go up 80 pips? Let's say that's what we think. So we think it's going to, if it rises above this, it's going to go on up to the top. So if we think it's going to keep going, we use a stop order. So we want to use a buy stop line, put it right there at the top. Oh, I can't put it on the chart because I already have one up here. Let me pull it down. You can't drop a buy stop line on the chart if there's already one on the chart. You can only have one object named the same name on a chart. So now, 
We're sitting here looking at which do you think is going to happen first? Is it going to go down here and turn? Or is it going to bust through that? Let's see what happens. Oh, it busted through and went up. Look at there. Went right to our take profit of 80 pips. Now keep in mind, if it, still, if it ever comes down here, it is going to buy on the sell limit line. So you got to keep in mind whether you have that one cancels the other feature turned on or off, or these lines will stay on your chart until you remove them or move them. But anyway, this is the way you play the Forex game. And what this will do, you can sit down here and pause and look at the chart, pull Fibonacci levels, do whatever you want to do. You can, you can let the thing run along until it looks like it's in a channel. You can pretend like, okay, it's Tuesday and I'm going to come in here and see what uh, the chart looks like today and then I'm going to make a decision about where I want to place my trades. So here we go. Now look at what we've got going on here. Thursday and Friday of this week, it has basically gone nowhere. So what would you think you would want to do? We're kind of in a little uh, zone here, aren't we? So let's pull this uh, cell out. I don't want to use that though. Let me delete that off of the chart. Let's pull a cell stop line and put it down here below this swing low and let's put a buy stop line above the swing high and let's just see what happens when it comes out of that channel. There we go. Oh, we didn't quite get long. There, we're short. And we're out. Look at that. And of course, another thing that I haven't showed you how to use is we can set this so that if it gets 40 pips into the money, it will move to break even. All of those settings are in the EA here. Move it to break even. We can set this to true. As you can see, the default settings now is when it gets 41 pips in the money, it's going to move it one pip break even. And you can even set a trailing stop. True. And it's going to start trailing at 42 pips and trail it 40 pips behind you. Just so you can see that happen. Let me load up that very same trade again here. Okay, this is where we were a while ago. I'm going to put a sell stop down below once again. Right here. Put a buy stop up here. Now what I want you to notice is this time as it comes down, we know what's going to happen. As it comes down here, if I can slow it, when it gets 40 pips in the money, there you see the trailing stop kick in and it's moved the stop back to break even. We've locked in profits now. And this trailing stop and break even function only works on the first trade. If this trade had got stopped out and it was in the second or third trade, trailing stop and the break even, move to break even do not do anything. So you can see the trailing stop following it down and there you have it. So you can see what you can do here. You can look for chart patterns, you can pause it, you can decide where you want to go long, where you go short, drop a line on the chart and test your chart reading skills. So what you can essentially do now is you can sit down with two or three months of data in the strategy tester. And you can start the strategy tester with this uh, EA on it and you can pause and you can look and you can make your best guess and see what you think is going to happen and then uh, put the lines on the chart, fast forward it, see what happens, pause it and look at it. And what you can really do is you can get a month, two months, six months, a year's practice in trading without it taking a year to do it. So you can get a lot of practice under your belt at reading charts and you'll find out uh, how much you don't know about which direction you think it's going to go. Now, when you get really good and you're right, you know, over 50% of the time, what you can also do, you know, we have it automatically uh, re-entering the trade. We can go down here where it says re-entry and we can set that to false. Now what's going to happen is when we enter a trade, it is either going to go to our take profit or it is going to go to the stop loss and it is not going to re-enter. So if I were to put, uh, let's say I put a buy stop up above the price here, if it goes up and hits that buy stop, of course we know it comes down, but 
because we've played with this enough now. He goes up there and hits that, and when it gets out, it's done. It's out. The uh, the trade management tool doesn't save ourselves from ourselves and turn this loser into a winning trade. But when you get to where you can trade without that feature enabled and be right over half of the time, you're pretty good. You're pretty good. But I think you'll find out that this trade management tool, due to the fact that it will save you when you get it wrong, you can't live without it in your trading. It makes trading so much simpler. If we were to start the same thing, if we had uh, done what we did initially, and we said, oh, I think it's going to turn when it gets up here. And we put a sell limit right here. When it goes up there and gets it, hits that order, fills it, and we go down. And you see we had the trailing stop running right there. That's one of the dangers of running a trailing stop is that you can give away some of your profits that you would have normally had. But now I think you, uh, you know just enough to be dangerous. So download start playing with it in strategy tester get those scripts in there uh, look at the chart put the lines on the chart and I wanted to show you that if you're if you're sitting here running the strategy tester and you miss an opportunity and you wish you were in it it's like oh man I wish I was in a buy right now remember all you have to do is throw a buy limit on it above the price and you're instantly in a buy. It thinks you've already dropped to below your buy limit line where it was going to turn. So that's another thing that you can do. And we're out of that trade. Well, guys, I can't tell you how much money I would be ahead right now if I had had a tool like this when I was first learning to trade Forex. Just the money I would have saved and blown accounts uh, would be phenomenal. Because when you first get into Forex and you look at it, it looks so simple. It looks so easy. It is simple, but it's not easy. But using this tool will let you sit down and really discover how hard something that looks so simple can be. You'll also discover how much easier it is to be uh, a winner at the end of the day if you use this trade management tool in your trading and if you just try to figure out what the market is going to do. But this tool, for one thing, it will help you learn how to read a chart, see how good of a guesser you are. You will learn which currency pairs, because in the strategy tester you can test on any currency pair, any time frame. You will learn which currency pairs that you are able to tell the most about uh, what it's about to do, because they all have different personalities. You'll be able to learn which time frame you like the most and how you should set your stop loss and take profit distances depending on which time frame you're looking at. You'll discover uh, how to efficiently use limit orders and stop loss orders and when not to use the wrong one. There's just there's no end to the things that this trading tool uh, will teach you. I hope you take advantage of this opportunity. I just wish someone had written something like this when I was starting out. So let me quickly go through the process that you need to go through because I know I strung it out over 45 minutes here or whatever it was as the steps went by. First of all, if you don't already have an MQL5 community username and password, then go up here in your community and set you one up. Get that set up. Once you have that set up, go into the open the terminal, go down to the market section, type in Jim Dandy down here and download my expert advisor. Once you have downloaded the expert advisor, then when you get ready to drop it on the chart, remember we want to download those scripts. So when you get ready to drop it on the chart, click on that link right there and go to this website. Go to the page that explains what all the settings are in it. And uh, each one of these are audio files. It'll explain to you each setting in this expert advisor and what it does. But scroll down here to where it says use lines to place trades and click on this page this takes you to the page where you download the scripts drop them on your desktop someplace where you can find them and then copy those scripts into your script folder 
And remember to go to the proper folder. Go over here in your platform. Whoops. Go over here in your platform. Open data folder. Go into the MQL folder. And in this scripts folder right here is where you want to drop them. Once you've got all of that set up and you're ready to start strategy testing, then open it up uh, with a strategy tester. Drop it on the chart, say test. And if you're going to try the, uh, remember if you're going to try the automatic where it sets off every day at the same time, scroll down here and turn that functionality on here by setting auto time trading to true. That makes it kick off a trade uh, at the same time every day. If you want to do that, if you want to use the line like we were doing a while ago, and this is what you really need to work on. This is where you're really going to develop your scale and chart reading ability and really be able to assess how good of a trader that you could possibly be. Go down here where it says you li use lines to place trades and set that to true. See, normally it's set to false when you first load this. Let's set that to true if you want to use the lines. Take your scripts that you put in your platform, go down through here into your scripts folder and find them in your scripts folder and then slowly right click on them one at a time and select that you want to add them to your favorites. And when you do that, over here in this tab, you'll end up with all four scripts and now you're ready to trade. So there it is from A to Z, how to go all the way through the process. Get this, it's all free guys. You can download the EA for free, you can download the scripts for free, and you can sit and work on this. And there's, it's amazing how much you can learn what does and does not work. If you've got a favorite indicator that you'd like to use, if you've got moving average crosses that you'd like to watch to decide which way to trade, you can drop them on the chart and save that template as tester so that every time you start your strategy tester, it has your indicator on the chart. And when your indicator that you like to watch says it's time to buy or sell, then drop that script on the chart and make it buy or sell at that moment and see how good you are. See when you've got the stop set too close. See when you're trailing your stops too close that you end up getting stopped out prematurely and you could have gone on and take profit. All of those things you will learn if you'll take advantage of this. So I hope you do. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Remember to give it a thumbs up down there, like it, share it with everybody. Everybody that, let's face it, everybody that's wanting to learn how to trade Forex needs to use this and hone their skills. Try to get those skills honed and develop that skill. You know, I, I keep saying it and I'll say it again, that trading is a skill that can be developed. It can be learned. Of course, it, it helps to have some talent as far as self-control and controlling your emotions but even a good singer if they practice their craft and they get some tips and they find out what does and doesn't work for them what key they can and can't sing in and do the exercises it only makes them better and you can take someone that can't sing very well at all and with some training and s development of skill they can be excellent let's hope the same thing happens for you with your trading in Forex. I wish you the best. Good trades to you. Pip pip.